morning everybody i got our first catch this morning here at this culvert where kinsley was with me when we caught the big one uh saturday morning but i've been pulling traps this morning uh i've got two places pulled uh i've still got a couple of places to check uh, i'm gonna pull one more place and then we're gonna shift over to some more uh spots but here's our first catch this morning guys we picked us up a muskrat there on that crossing uh, so in order if you want to avoid getting muskrats it's a pan tension issue you need to tighten your pans up so those muskrats can go over the trap without tripping it i don't worry much at all about pan tension because i'm i'm when i'm out here trapping i really don't care what i catch i just i want to catch first so i'll put a muskrat out plus muskrats aren't all over all over the area where i'm at i mean they're not everywhere so when i'm trapping beaver and i pick up a muskrat like this this tells me there's a family group of muskrats that's living in this ditch so later on in the year or i mean even right now but anytime i come over here and i know where some muskrats are i can set to catch those muskrats anyway guys all i'm gonna do i'm gonna pull him out of there get that reset in there we're gonna leave these traps set because i've got another ditch really close to here we're going to be uh setting for beaver and we'll be able to check these real easy every morning so uh anyway we'll check back in with you here in a little while all right guys made it over here getting this uh new location set up so basically what we got here there's an old dam here i trapped this last year trapped the beaver out of here the farmer come in here and uh you can tell where they dug this section from here over to the bank out with the excavator. And uh, those beavers had come back in recently because that whole that whole section right there is really soft. Uh, this section over here is just as hard as can be. But anyway, I come in here, I made two uh, dam breaks. We got both of these on drowning rods. Uh, right here is a slight crossover. You guys may be able to see it. Uh, just right there where my shadow of my hand is. Comes right off the top of that dam, right down into this little channel. And uh, I've got a 330 placed in there, just kind of camouflaged uh, with that grass, kind of blended in there. I left one little opening for them to come through. Got that set. Brought another 330 down with me on an H stand. Right down here is uh, another old dam that's got dug out, and there's one little section right in the middle of it that can still go through. And we're going to place this 330 in it. And uh, something else I noticed too, guys. Uh, right here is a coyote track. Right there, my footprint. Right here, I just took out half of it, but. Uh, those coyotes have been using coming down off the bank right there using this hard part of the dam coming across going back up working the side of this ditch uh so if i wanted to pick those those critters up i would uh be sure to set in here for them this right here is good habitat to pick up a bobcat as well uh, these dry ditches with all this grass those predators are in here hunting those mice and rabbits and stuff uh, turtles and everything else that's in this ditch but uh, right now we're just concentrating on beaver trying to get some beaver knocked out and later on in my season if i can get all these have to get to beaver hopefully we can uh, kind of play around later on in the year so right here guys we're right there that channel next down we're going to place this 330 in there on this h stand, kind of blend it in just a little bit And I'm gonna move on, move on to another location. Some new beaver. All right, guys. Here's another colony. I've been whittling on this colony for about three years now, and uh, all the big dams on the lower end uh, are gone. Uh, this is the first dam right here. I got this huge tree fell over on it. They come in, dammed it up. And there's one more dam above this one. Uh, you see I got that water flowing really good right there and a foothold guard net anchored off to this tree over here. And if we follow this little channel around that I'm standing in, that run goes right 
right through there there's a tree already there branch already there that used to go on under i've got that 330 on that h stand garden net so and basically the dam above this one i did the same thing just put a 330 below it and then a foothold actually put it on a drowning rod on the top end uh, i switched vehicles this morning to that other mitsubishi and uh had those drowning rods in it so i want to get them out just to get them out of my way they take up a lot of room in that vehicle so anyway we're just taking our time today nothing else going on we've got i guess three of those spots we had set i pulled and uh got two new lo locations set and uh their third one just right down the road from this one we'll get over there and get it set here in a minute all right morning guys oh it's tuesday morning yesterday i went around and uh, pulled a lot of those spots that we've been catching beaver pulled a lot of those traps and i moved them to new locations this is one of the new locations i got set yesterday basically we got this this ditch that comes down the back of this <clears throat> farm field and the last time i trapped this was uh had to have been four or five years ago or longer and uh this dip ditch has been opened up ever since no more dams uh put in here but you can see basically all i did let me walk up here and show you guys this dam all right guys so this this one dam right here you're fixing to see is the only structure that's in this ditch it's the first structure that's been here in several years and uh What I did, I did a crossing, uh, some otter scat up here on top, and uh, I put a foothold trap right at the bottom of this crossing where those otters are coming up. And then uh, there really wasn't a, a defined cross over there, so all I did was go below it and set a 330 down there where it necked down. But this is the only dam that's in this structure, so that tells me there's, there's either one or two beaver that moved in here, built this one dam, just, just starting to, to build up a family group. But walk back down here, I don't know if you guys seen it when I was holding the camera, but we've got a catcher right down here. We've got a beaver this morning, right down here in this crossover that I set. So let me get down here, we'll get that beaver out, and then I'll walk you back up to that dam and, uh, and show you that crossing coming out. We'll get that trap checked. Right there's a beaver, just like the way we like it, a head catch. Yeah, I just had that 330 sitting in that little channel there, so we're gonna get him out of there. We're gonna reset this back. I'll leave it one more day. Uh, maybe we can pick up an otter coming through. This is real close to the house, so I may leave this set for a while and uh see if we can't get some some otters out of here too Yeah, so we're just gonna come right back in here.
I'm just gonna take a stick just to secure that thing. <clears throat> I'll push some springs down into the mud and that'll help help hold that thing there too. Take some grass guys and we're just gonna kinda kinda camouflage that trap in a little bit and there we go, we're gonna call that set. All right, guys, here's another spot you might recognize from uh, previous seasons. Uh, but this is always a problem spot. Uh, this timber goes back in here, and this ditch runs through the middle of this timber. It's not easy access for me. So I've never been able to get all the beaver out of this spot. So every year I come back, I'll pick, pick a few up. But basically all I did here yesterday, I come in here on this dam, uh, made two uh cuts in it where the water is draining place the foothold in front of each cut uh, on up this ditch a little bit it goes up there about that corner then the, these trees here and turns and goes back in there's one little dam there i've said it in the past you've seen it in previous videos i just come right down from that dam put a 330 in that run but looking right here this trap still looks like they may have pulled a little bit of grass up in front of it here the other side looks like we got some claw marks maybe a catch over there but the trap is still bedded where it was at so i'm not sure what what happened right over there looks like they may have come in and, and covered up my footprints put fresh mud on top of where i stepped at but i'm going to step right down here guys and uh just make sure both of these traps are working <clears throat> Right here's here's our first one. It's still it's still bedded right there, guys. I'm just gonna pull some of that grass out of the way, stomp this down a little bit. Actually, they didn't come up here. They didn't come up here and fix this. It drained down. It drained down that much. So uh, yeah, definitely some claw marks right there. So I'm not sure if those were there yesterday. I set this or not. Just step that down and get this water flowing again. <coughs> All right, we had a, so we had a miss here. Hell, you come over here to fix this side and we missed them. Uh, we're just gonna stomp that out and get that water flowing. Like I said, there's not gonna be a slew of them in here. Just a couple. I know where they're living at, but it's a good four or five hundred walk back, yard walk back in there too. Me and Kinsley, one of the very first videos I've done was Kinsley tracking me through the trees back in there. And that that's this spot here. <coughs> There's a big pond. You can see all the dead timber, dead from the flooding. And then the big timber, there's a big pond right in the middle of that big timber. And uh, that's basically where they're staying at and they're building out from there. Each year I pick them up, building out from there. But I kind of stepped this grass down, guys. It's real soft mud. So I stepped that grass down yesterday just to make me a spot to, to bed this trap. So I'm gonna get it set back here. Hands out of the way, everything from behind that loose jaw. We're just gonna pull that down to that night latch right there. And then just bed that. This is that Duke, that Duke A50 I was talking about earlier. These things are just super heavy, almost inconveniently heavy. It's really the only downfall that I don't like about them is they're so heavy. But I'm gonna try to, like I said, I utilized that other one and i'm gonna see maybe it'll work here if they try to swim out i'm hoping that big heavy trap will pull them to the bottom maybe even hold them and drown them so i'm using them just to see if, if that's the 
the case or not. Hopefully, I can get a catch before too long. Find that out. But that's that's it here, guys. We'll just keep coming by every morning checking. A few sets covered with debris for some cats while we're over here, boring. Try to pick up a bobcat or two while we're in this area trapping. Don't hear any water running, so that tells me that those uh, beaver come in here and patch those holes that I made. <clears throat> oh, let's step up here and look and see if maybe we got a catch. This was a crossover they're using already. Here's one of our drowning rods, guys. The water drained quite a bit before they got over here and fixed it. But my trap, my trap's still up here, tripped. So oh, I had a miss, had a miss on that one. Right in here was that second down break that I made. So I'm gonna find that, find that rod and see if, see if maybe we got a beaver on it. This fresh mud, this fresh dam they built is a muddy, muddy mess. Yeah, maybe that's my rod. Let's see if that ain't it. Yeah, that's it. So let's. Pull that up here. That mechanism and trap is gone, so maybe we got a catch down here at the bottom of this one. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, it's got some weight to it, so looky there. Good sized beaver. That's one of the adults in this colony. We know there's more in here still because they come in here and fix this behind us. So I'm gonna get get these working back and I'm gonna spend a little bit of time right here this morning. Uh, like I said, setting up some bobcat sets in here. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good a good one there. So I'll check in with you guys after get everything set in here before we leave, show you what we got. You guys will remember too, before I get off here, this is the dam where I had the, had last year I had it set over there with a foothold on that very end, made the catch. Beaver had too much extension on it. The beaver went up in a bank den right here on this edge. And uh, I spent an hour and a half, two hours out here with my buddy Mark. Glad he was riding with me that morning, pulling that beaver out of that bank den. This is where that video happened at, right over there. But uh, anyway, I'll check back in with you guys here in a little while. All right, there's that beaver this morning, guys. Right down here's that dam. We got a cross and it comes up right here. And then right down here at those woods, another cross and those animals are coming out. Till they're walking. What we're gonna do, we're gonna set a cat set up here on this high bank end of it. We're gonna drop down there in the ditch and put one of these boxes down there in the ditch. But let me show you this, this box set up. So I picked this up, there's a demo. And if you, you guys join your associations, go to those demos in the off season, you'll pick up a lot of tricks from experienced trappers. And that's where I picked this, this up. Uh, this past year, I've tried it a little bit in the past, not had not been real successful with it, never really stuck with it to learn it. This year, I'm gonna pick up a lot of these buckets, and as I'm setting uh, these beaver spots, I can just set the bucket out real quick and uh, I can go. So basically, all you got, you got these cat litter buckets. Or a five gallon bucket works the same. Cut you two notches for the springs to sit out on both sides, and uh, drill you a hole in the back of the bucket for your stake. I went ahead and added a wire to mine and I can wire a chunk of beaver meat in the back. Uh, those critters got a way of, of getting in there and getting that bait out without getting caught. 
So what I'm going to do, this bucket is just a little bit, little bit big. That 160 doesn't cover the whole entire bucket. So what I'll do is, once I get this set where I want it to set, I'll shove grass and stuff up in here and in, under it. I'll take some grass and lay on this bottom lip under the trap, kind of blend it in real good. So it's just basically creating a tunnel behind that. Even better in this bucket, guys, and these things are hard to come by. I've had this for a long time, but I'm going to, I'm going to use it here as a, as this kind of trap. And we'll use it. Same thing, just this old mailbox I replaced at one time, saved it, same thing. This is gonna be your stain, you'll anchor your trap to it. Uh, just put your ring or cable, whatever you got on the bottom side. Push that down in the ground, that's anchored. And uh, we're just gonna basically create a cubby that we can just set this mailbox down and take grass and stuff and put over and we've got us a cubby created. Now something else I picked up at that convention, guys. Those guys that do this method, they, they take those triggers and they bend them back um, to that 90 degree. And those actually could be a little bit shorter bent back. But what that does is that, that opens up this whole top space, just like I've talked about beaver trapping. It gives them a space to concentrate and go through. And what's going to happen is they're going in there, their breast is going to hit that, that bent 90 degree trigger and it's going to trip that trap. So... Uh, Anyway, there, there's what we got. Uh, I'm gonna get them set out here, and then I'll show you guys, show you guys again what they look like once they're set in here. All right, guys. So there's a dam. We just caught that big beaver over here and knocked it back out. I just come down the bottom of this ditch. Here's our yellow cat litter box. Guys, you want those tilted. Uh, you don't want them sitting flat on the ground. You want them tilted at an angle. So, animal walk in this ditch walks by this they're gonna they're gonna be able to see down in there and see that bait and then he's gonna work that set and try to go in there and get that beaver meat out of it uh we can use some cat gland here if we want to use a little bit of cat gland on the inside of that uh back there on that rod would be great got that beaver meat in there so we'll see what this does maybe it'll pick us one up we saw those tracks yesterday as we were setting this on both sides of this ditch where they're they're hunting and uh, so hopefully one comes by and uh, get them there let me climb up here you know, they're using this dam as a crossing too good trail going up both sides and uh, where that trail goes up we've got that other box sitting up there on the edge of the, the field road and I'll show you guys it they get climbed up there and I'll kick back on and show you it. All right, go. So here's that dam. You can see that, that trail. It's tore up because I drug that big beaver up at Wargo, but you can tell that trail going right up here. And we'll get to the top. Oh. This trail, you can tell this trail splits, goes through all this grass, several trails in this grass where they're working this grass. Trying to keep my ass up. So right here, right here's one. Oh, there's that trail, guys. There's our mailbox that we put in here. Same thing, we got it tilted up to where eye level will be able to look in there. You tell a little bit of a chicken feather in there. It just accidental from the chickens at the house stuck to that beaver leg that I grabbed this morning. But, uh, there we go, my anchor cables back in there. Let's get that out of there. What may do, guys, is take some of that grass, kind of cover it up a little bit. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can pick us up a cat while we're over here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a flag, stick out here, just to mark this for me. And uh, I think that flag flying in the wind might attract a cat over here too. If he's passing by over there and sees it, maybe it'll get him to this area. But uh, I'm going to be making up some more of these boxes when I get home this afternoon. I threw those together real quick this morning because I knew I wanted to. I threw those together real quick this morning. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to throw a bunch more of those boxes together when I get to the house. And uh, that way I can just set them out real quick. It's a real fast, easy, already set up. Just jump out, put it in the ground, and go. And I've got all kinds of beaver meat to bait it with, so that's the plan with that. We'll catch you guys on down the road. Still got some more sets to check, too. 
All right, guys, we're back over here, just ditch where I set it, set all these dams down through here. We picked up, I made these otter sets on this last dam. I ended up uh, picking up seven beaver out of here in, in three or four days set. And I really need to have these traps pulled already. But I wanted to, honestly, the reason I haven't pulled them yet is because I keep forgetting to grab my stake puller. And I got a few of these, I, I got a few of these traps uh, cross staked. And uh, man, them things are hard to, hard to pull up out of there when they're cross staked like that. I was kind of hoping maybe we'd get an otter catch here too and I'd be able to show you guys an otter catch. Uh, doesn't, hadn't happened yet. <clears throat> Looks like something may have happened. Here we go. So over here guys, we got a catch this morning if you guys see it or not, that, that bunny rabbit's up there. I can tell there's a little bit of disturbance. So he was coming down, come down right here and he was going down that trail as well. Uh, I'm gonna get him out of there and uh, get that reset. So you're missing, if you're not setting these side crossovers, you're missing a lot of animals. Get you guys a little closer look at him. We got that rabbit there in that long spring. So uh, I'm gonna get him taken care of, get that trap set back here for tonight. And uh, right there guys, you can tell. A canine come across this dam here recently. Looks like probably last night. Fresh tracks. He crossed through. I'm surprised he didn't grab that rabbit. But uh, maybe it's before the rabbit come through. All right, morning guys. First stop this morning. I just got this spot set yesterday. It's our first check on it. Basically, just have this dam right here, <clears throat> and. Uh, put a 330 on the bottom of it and I'm not seeing it and then we had a foothold on top <clears throat> let's get down here and take a closer look at it looks like I see a yeah we've got a we've got a catch right here guys well, let's get down here and see what we got. Looks like it's going to be a beaver. Mm. So right here, that far side over there is a really good, really good crossover. And uh, we just come down here and put this 330 on the bottom of it. Got a foothold on top. And right here we got us a pretty decent sized beaver, it looks like. Oh, yeah. So let's get that reset. Get it put back in there. <clears throat> Let's see if we can't pick up another one right here. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're over here. We picked that colony up in a couple of days. Uh, hadn't had a catch in three or four days now. Over here. Well, we've had the rabbit, and the turtle, a couple odd nids, but not what we're after. Uh, I'm pulling traps this morning. I finally grabbed my trap puller. I'd show you guys, show you guys what I, how I use it. So we've got this foothold cross staked up here on the bank. And uh, it's, it's horrible trying to pull those things out of there. So what I can do, I got this D-ring, this carabiner. And this one side of it's narrower. Hopefully, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. This one side is narrower than the other. It's, it's perfect for grabbing them two inch washers. So I can get down here under it, pick it up at a carabiner, and I can pull, pull that stake up this direction. And guys, this thing right here is a lifesaver. Do the same thing here. We'll put that D ring on there. We'll pull up in the direction that stake's in the ground. Right there there we go it's that easy that simple no tug and pull and giving yourself a hernia so we're gonna get this stuff out of here up to the truck i'm gonna clean this ditch out this morning get these traps ready to put somewhere else and if i uh, have any catches i'll uh, i'll be sure to show you guys those catches all right well guys we caught the mate to the one that we caught yesterday right here oh uh, Another rabbit, well you know, 
you're looking to pick up some whitetail rabbits this will be a good spot set obviously these little side cross holders are coming down out of the field they're definitely not swimming coming this way but they're coming down out of the field going down the edge of this thicket so uh that may have been a rabbit crossover instead of an otter crossover but getting all these traps pulled this morning guys uh, Hoping to pick up an otter while we we're here. It didn't happen. Let me go grab my puller. Let me get him taken care of. Grab my puller. Got that other side over across state. So, uh, yeah, I got both front feet in that. Got both front feet in that thing. So, anyway, guys, we'll, we're going to get this pulled out of here. It's been a good ditch for us. Uh, we'll definitely remember it next season. We'll get back over here. Unless the farmer or the property owner comes in and pull these dams out, uh, there'll be some more beaver back in here next year. We'll come over here and check it and uh, pick us up some more out of here. All right, guys, welcome back in here. This colony I've been after for a <clears throat> couple of years, slowly getting them out of here. Used to, they had five or six dams down through here, and they're down to two now. Just a few left in here, but got it set the other day. Didn't catch anything yesterday. Hopefully we got something today. Big dam right here. This huge tree is fell over part of it and they come in and started using that tree itself to work on that dam. And right here, guys, I've got a 330 in that run that goes through there. I can see that it's still set. Let's step up here, we made a dam break. Yeah, cable's still right there, so I'm saying we don't have anything here. So let's step over here and look. Yeah, I don't believe they've come down here and fixed it the last two nights, guys. They're just all that debris washing up. Trap still set there. Let's get it out of the way. Get this open back up. All oh, those leaves, that's the problem in these trees you got all this all this leaf and debris ends up doing the work for them they don't have to come over here we're gonna get this going take this trap and we're just gonna set it back over in there guys all right that's opened up now flowing we got another damn set right up here we'll get up there to and get it checked maybe we got one caught in it guys made it back over here <clears throat> this rock dock where these beavers built the dam i must set a cat set right up here on the edge of this bank this point uh those predators go low bank right here and then they'll travel high bank here i'm gonna set that where that yellow cat litter box is i'll show you guys that when i get it set up i look down here and i seen some ripples in the water we got us a catch down there a beaver I've got three sets here guys. I've got I've got where that beaver's caught is a crossover. Goes high up on that bank, comes back down, I've got a foothold on both ends of it. And then right down here below us, I've got a foothold right here at the bottom of this slide. It's still set. But get over here. You guys will remember this from, from last year. We picked up several beaver, I believe some otter and a bobcat right here on this edge. Uh but I'm gonna ease down here, see if I can get across through without tripping. Get that beaver out of there. It looks like a decent two-year-old. There's not gonna be many in here. But with this rock dock right here, this is a constant problem area because it'll catch debris and then those beaver can just come right in, start packing it, and uh, got them a good dam. 
but I noticed last year there wasn't a lot of sign in here. We picked up a few beaver traveling through, but this year when I checked on it, they started building, packing this dam on the top side. So I wanted to get some some sets over here and get them picked up. But there's that there's that beaver. He's all all tangled up there in that brush. I've just got a foothold there. Got a cross stake up there on that high bank, but. It's a small one, it's a two year old. Uh, it's kind of what we were expecting, but I'm gonna get him taken care of and get that reset and get up there. Basically right up there at the point of that bluff is where I'm gonna make that cast set and uh, show you guys that when I get it done.